Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. Um, we're gonna do one I haven't done in a long time, which is a hammer pour. Um, so we're gonna kind of make sort of a floral garden, at least that's what we're going for. So what I'm kind of gonna do is do basically a background of green and a little yellow and then some white. Okay, I think that should be good. And then basically I'm going to just kind of swipe this a little bit. And it's just using some paper. All right, <laughs> I may get in here with my hands even. Paper isn't exactly flat, it's just some cardboard paper. But I'm going for kind of more of an abstract background anyways, so this should work. <laughs> there we go, okay. Make it a little less sloppy. All right. We have a background. It's not too shabby. I'm gonna tilt a little bit just to get any excess paint off. Don't wanna have too much. All right, and now for the fun part. Um, I think for this, we'll use blue. Seems like it would go well with this. So basically, we're gonna kind of make some flowers here. And I'm gonna do kind of little puddles. Hmm. Oh, I guess one is going right there. Okay, let's try that. And then we're going to put a little white in the middle as well. So it's not just blue. Whoa, by little, I meant little. <laughs> All right, well. We are going for abstract here. So, okay. Good. <laughs> oh, you know what? Important thing about art is have fun. All right, here we go. Now we're not gonna hit this too hard because we don't want to damage the canvas, so. And honestly, it's best if you have something hard underneath. Woo, there we go. <laughs> Which I don't, so. Let's see. Mm. Okay. I'm going to add a little more. A couple around the edges specifically. What in the world? Don't worry, guys. I have a plan. Um, you can also, like, if, you know, your uh, hammer means a lot to you. <laughs> You can cover it with plastic so you don't actually get paint on your hammer. So, ladies, if you're using your husband's hammer, go ahead and do that. This hammer I bought specifically for this, so I'm really not too worried. And it is my hammer. I can do with it what I would like. All right. You can also make jellyfish with this. Look, let's make some good jellyfish. Bam. I kind of want some more right here. This one's right in the middle, so it's definitely not super easy. And you don't want to go crazy hard or anything. Okay, that's going to have to do. So at this point, what I'm going to do 
is I, add, I do want to take a stick and um, go ahead and kind of create a little more of a, you know, kind of stems, flower stems down here. Or jellyfish, you know. <laughs> I'm half tempted to do jellyfish at this point. These do look like jellyfish. But let's let's pretend they're still flowers for a minute. Okay. I think that is good. That was definitely, if anything, fun, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's let this sit for a little bit. It actually looks like there are some cells developing. There's no silicone or anything in there. But let's let this sit and then we'll come back and do a close-up. All right, you know what? As much as I wanted these to flow be flowers, these are really abstract jellyfish. So I'm going to go the opposite direction here a little bit and pull down some of these. So here we go. Now we have a school of jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do our close-up. Lower right hand corner, going up here. Upper right hand corner. Um, so you can also keep like, you know, hitting it to produce different effects or whatever, you know. It's definitely different methods you can use with this as well. So lower left-hand corner. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> there you go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to try something new. Get out your tools. Use them in different ways. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.